melatonin and heart failure video got a lot of responses. It seems like we need to talk about correlation versus causation. Now, in the sense of melatonin and heart failure, is it actually the melatonin that is causing the heart failure and causing the increased chance of passing away and causing the increased chance of being hospitalized? That's causation. How about correlation? Well, correlation means that what if the people who take melatonin every single day for two, three, four years tend to have other medical conditions that could potentially predispose them to passing away? As of right now, the abstract has been submitted to the American Heart Association, but it hasn't been peer reviewed yet. It also hasn't been replicated, but the idea that they actually went back and looked at 130,000 people tends to give me a little bit of confidence that there might be some truth. Again, is it causation versus correlation? And are there better alternatives out there? Are there natural alternatives out there? Are there medicinal alternatives out there that could potentially not be as uh, controversial? The final point that I would like to make is that those medications such as melatonin that come as supplements are not regulated. They're not regulated by the FDA. That means that you're not sure when you're taking those little tablets or those gummies, are you getting one milligram, two milligram, 20 milligrams? And a recent study did say that children's melatonin gummies, there was a wide range of dosages inside of those melatonin gummies. So with all that being said, and the fact that we talked about causation versus correlation, would you still take the melatonin gummies for you or your children? Stay tuned for part three, where we talk about what are some good alternatives.